the chemistry of bones. Attention! Hydrochloric acid can cause severe chemical burns of the skin, eyes and respiratory tract. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. For the experiment, a container was filled with diluted hydrochloric acid. In this case, a cylinder was used and concentrated hydrochloric acid was diluted at a ratio of 1 to 3. So to 90 milliliters of distilled water, 30 milliliters of acid were added. Next, a chicken bone was added to the acid. As it can be seen, it floats because it was dried before and the bones from birds do contain air pockets. After a short while, bubbles of gas could be seen on the surface of the bone, which were air that was released and carbon dioxide. So it's possible to guess that bones are mainly calcium carbonate, but this is only present in very small amounts. The main part of the calcium lattice is calcium hydroxylapatite. Then the setup was left overnight. On the next day, the bone had turned a bit darker and the release of gas bubbles was over. A beaker that did fit into the cylinder was found to keep the bone completely in the acid overnight. Next, the acid was washed off with some water, but it has to be taken care of because there will still be acid on the inside. Visually, the bone looks pretty normal, but it becomes interesting when it's bent, because it is now as elastic as rubber. The acid has dissolved, the solid calcium lattice and the flexible collagen fibers and other organic tissues were left over. Thanks to the lab coat and goggles I'm wearing, the diluted acid that splashed in my direction and also into my face was not a big deal. In the next experiment, a bone was heated with a Bunsen burner. It is important that it was dried prior heating because moisture can cause the bone to burst. Here the organic compounds including the collagen were burned and the calcium lattice is left over. I found interesting that the bone did burn without heating at some point. When the bone didn't burn as well as before, the heating was stopped. It can be seen pretty well that the part that got heated the most is white, because even the carbon of the partially burned organic compounds was oxidized. As a comparison, a fully intact bone is shown, which contains the calcium lattice and the collagen and is pretty strong and a bit elastic. The heated bone is very brittle and breaking it feels and sounds like it would have been made of thin glass. So a rigid bone needs the stable calcium lattice and the elastic collagen. This was the chemistry of bones. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to see more of my videos you can watch my playlist here or you can watch my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.